Well, my name, Sakukutu, was given to me by my father. That was my great-grandfather's name. And my, my great-grandfather got the name from his great-grandfather, and my dad was able to go back about two centuries and talked about the history of the name. Now, the reason why the name is so special is that in the future, either one of my sons, grandsons, or male relatives wants to take the sacred journey that I went on, then I would have to give up that name. So the name would, would, uh, would continue with that individual, and then in the future, they would be doing the same thing. Now, the importance of having names is that once you, you give that name to another individual, there is a ceremony that's involved and also the teachings that go along with the name because then you have responsibilities. This is how it was told to me that uh, uh, in translation, whoever was, was uh, translating the name bottle, Sakukutu is, is the name. But if you, have, if you add at the end, Tusku, Sakukutusku, then it is a bottle. But Sakukutu is, means either clear ice or crystal. Well, Blackfoot was basically my first language, and uh, that's all I spoke with my grandparents and, and my parents. So that was my first language. Now, because of the, uh, the legacy of what happened to all uh, First Nation people, a lot, a lot of us lost a language. But for myself, it was, uh, I think I consider myself very lucky that I was, I was able to continue speaking the language. But the problem today is a lot of our young people don't speak the language. But I think by developing a novel and having the story told in Blackfoot, to me is an important way of ensuring that our language survives. And this is why it's really important that the, that the young people really to, to enjoy what is available to them today and to take advantage of uh, individuals as myself that spe still speak the language fluently and that we're able to use the novel as a way of, of teaching the young people the language and the importance of storytelling because basically that's how our culture has survived, our history and our way of life. All the novels and stories that we share have all the values included in the, in the stories and novels as to how it's been told to us, how we pass those values on to the young people. So this way that when they get to be my age or to become elders, then it is their responsibility to also do the same thing as I did that in sharing the stories, the ceremonies, and the prayers is what's really important as to how we begin our day and basically how we call everything to order. Protocols are very important to our people. And our way of starting the day is always with a ceremony. And this is where we prepare ourselves to. We always ask the Creator for uh, strength, guidance, and wisdom because we all face challenges and we ask that so we can overcome and meet our challenges. And we always ask to get us to a point where we are going to end our day to make it to that point of time. And at the end of the day, we, we give thanks for the day that we've had, uh, be thankful for the blessings that we received for the day, and to be thankful even though if it's been the best day of our life or the worst, we give thanks that we're still alive. And this is how I was taught, that you always respect the Creator and respect the things that you ask for. A lot of the stories were handed down by our grandparents. And that is basically our family structure where the, the grandparent is responsible for telling the stories to the young people. And these are the stories that I used to hear my grandparents tell where they have gatherings where other elders come to the house, then basically that is my entertainment for the evening, is to listen to them telling stories. Now there's some stories they only tell us once, and it's up to us to remember them, because throughout history our language was never a written language. 
where symbols were used more or less to, uh, to record our history and also events that had taken place, travels. And all those stories are out on the land. This is where you could find them. What I've been doing in the past, past few years is, is meeting with a lot of the youth uh, going into the schools. And storytelling is very important because that is one way as to how I, I um, help the young people to teach them about our history because a lot of them don't know. Sometimes their, their uh, understanding of history is when Columbus landed. That kind of history has been shared with them. But I think now that we have to have the opportunity to share our culture through storytelling and also now using novels is an excellent way of teaching them so they, be, they can become familiar with our history, become familiar with our protocols. And there's a lot more that they need to learn about our cultures as to how we recorded our own history. Because storytelling is a way of making that connection with the young people as to how you can begin to, uh, to introduce the culture and also for the young people to make that connection about who they are and also to feel proud of who they are. Once they understand the stories, that's, that's how it's shared with them. Well, we do have a lot of values within our, within our, our society, the Blackfoot society, or the Blackfoot speaking people. And um, all of those values is lifelong learning. Even today, I'm still learning. But there's some very basic core values that we share with the young people. One of the values that we have is uh, how we convey to the young people the importance of uh, our values. For example, this is where you teach the young people to always be striving for excellence, to always do the best that you can. And this is how you can improve your life and always use those, those teachings as a guide when you're going through life. It's, it's very difficult because of, uh, of our teachings for me to, uh, to boast about accomplishments. And, um, and this is why uh, uh, we only talk about uh, how we work with the young people. But some very uh, major accomplishments, it's, it's very difficult to start claiming that this is what I've done. What was amazing about the, uh, about the story as to how it was really accepted by the community, the public and, and also the schools. And because of how the story was told and sharing part of the, uh, the Blackfoot culture, it got interest right from around the world and it has gone global. And apparently the, uh, the novel itself has gone to uh, the UK, France, Africa and also Australia and uh, there's more requests from other countries that want to have a copy of the novel.